the presence of negative blockages is a common experience that we have all had in our lives. Let's delve into this topic and discuss it further. Picture this, you're on a journey, moving towards your goals and dreams, when suddenly, you hit a wall. Not a literal one, but it might as well be, given how stuck you feel. These walls, or blockages, can be emotional, like a suitcase full of fears and insecurities you've been dragging around. These patterns can manifest as mental, such as a constant loop of self-doubt echoing in your mind, or even behavioral, where you find yourself repeating patterns that ultimately do not benefit you. It's like your own personal Groundhog Day, but without the laughs. Now, why bother dealing with these blockages? Here's another way to look at it. Every hindrance acts as a roadblock on your way to finding happiness, fulfillment, and growth. It's like trying to drive with the handbrake on. Sure, you might move, but it's going to be slow, and you'll probably burn out. Identifying and working through these blockages is crucial because it's about more than just feeling better in the moment. It's about clearing the way for a more authentic, fulfilling life. As we begin to analyze and dismantle these obstacles, Gaining insight into their origins and the ways they impede our progress, it feels as though we are providing ourselves with a mental and emotional overhaul. It's safe to say that no one wants to operate below their best, right? Working through these obstacles enables personal growth, learning, and transformation into someone who achieves their goals instead of just dreaming about them. Plus, on a deeper level, it's about reconnecting with the best version of ourselves, the one that's been buried under layers of doubt fear, and old habits. Dealing with these barriers directly is extremely important. It's not always easy, and it definitely requires some digging and discomfort, but the rewards? Absolutely worth it. Imagine breaking free from those invisible chains and stepping into a life where you're in control, moving forward with confidence and clarity. That's the incredible power of recognizing and conquering the obstacles that hold you back, like breaking through a solid wall to reveal the vast possibilities that lie beyond. Now, let's delve into the common obstacles that often ensnare us, emotional, cognitive, and behavioral barriers. Imagine emotional blockages as those heavy feelings that sit on your chest, making it hard to breathe or move forward. They're like carrying around a backpack full of bricks labeled fear, insecurity, or sadness. Then there are cognitive blockages, which are all about the tricks our minds play on us. These thoughts, the ones that whisper I can't do it or I'm not good enough, have a way of sneaking into our minds and taking up residence. In contrast, the repetitive habits and actions that impede our progress are what we refer to as behavioral hindrances. It's like wanting to get fit but somehow finding yourself on the couch binge-watching TV shows every night. Now, where do these blockages come from? Often. They're the souvenirs of our past experiences, like trauma, which leaves scars that can change how we view the world and ourselves. Our upbringing plays a massive role, too, laying the foundation for many of our beliefs and behaviors. Then there's societal conditioning, the subtle and not-so-subtle messages about who we should be and how we should act, which can trap us in roles that don't fit. And let's not forget the self-limiting beliefs, the internalized narratives that tell us we're not capable of achieving our dreams. The impact of these blockages on our lives? Huge. They can show up in our relationships, making it hard to connect with others or trust easily. In our careers, they might manifest as a fear of taking risks or stepping into leadership roles. When it comes to personal growth, these blockages can keep us from trying new things or pursuing our passions. And overall happiness? Well, it's tough to find joy when you're weighed down by fears, doubts, and unhelpful patterns. Understanding these blockages, where they come from, and how they affect us is like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly, we can see what's been tripping us up, and with that clarity, we can start navigating our way out. Have you ever wondered why we find ourselves trapped in repetitive patterns, feeling like we're on a never-ending cycle of our own thoughts and actions? Well, it's all about the brain-behavior link. The complexity of our brains plays a significant role in shaping our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. The way our brains are wired has a profound impact on how we think, feel, and act. The amygdala and the prefrontal cortex are two crucial players in this field, particularly in terms of regulating emotions. The amygdala is like our emotional thermostat, constantly gauging the temperature of our experiences and reactions. When we encounter something that feels threatening, and this could be anything from a physical threat to social rejection, the amygdala sounds the alarm, 
triggering those fight-or-flight responses. It's great for survival but not so much for modern life, where the threats aren't usually about physical danger but more about emotional challenges. Then there's the prefrontal cortex, the brain's cool, collected executive. It's responsible for reasoning, decision-making, and keeping our emotions in check. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for calming things down when the amygdala gets too intense. But here's where it gets interesting. Our brains are not fixed. Enter neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself in response to new experiences, thoughts, and environments. This means that the patterns of thinking and behavior that contribute to our negative blockages aren't set in stone. We can change them. Through new experiences and conscious thought patterns, we can literally rewire our brains. When we practice mindfulness, for example, we're training our prefrontal cortex to regulate our emotions more effectively, reducing the amygdala's hair trigger response. Over time, this can lead to changes in how we react to stress, anxiety, and fear, helping to dissolve those negative blockages that hold us back. So, despite the deep-rooted patterns we might find ourselves in, the concept of neuroplasticity offers a beacon of hope. It shows us that change is not just possible, it's within our brain's natural capabilities. We're not just passive recipients of our brain's current wiring, we're active participants in shaping how our brains function, leading to healthier patterns of thought, emotion, and behavior. Exploring the enigmatic realm of hermetic chaos philosophy provides us with a distinct perspective to understand and overcome our psychological and emotional barriers. Central to this ancient wisdom are the principles of mentalism and vibration, which can profoundly shift how we approach our inner barriers. The philosophy of hermetic chaos starts with the principle of mentalism, which asserts that the mind is everything, the universe is a manifestation of the mind. This principle suggests that everything in the universe originates from thought or consciousness. This principle can revolutionize the way you overcome blockages. It implies that our reality, including the blockages we face, is shaped by our thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions. If our reality is a projection of our mind, then changing our mind can change our reality. This empowers us to look inward, to the foundational beliefs and thoughts that construct our emotional and mental walls, and to understand that by shifting these, we can reshape our external world. The principle of vibration sheds more light on our journey by helping us navigate through obstacles. Everything in the universe is in motion, vibrating at different frequencies. Our thoughts and emotions are no exception, they vibrate and attract experiences of a similar frequency. Negative blockages, then, can be seen as low vibrational states that attract more of the same, more negativity, more obstacles, more of what we don't want. By raising our vibration, through positive thinking, gratitude, love, and joy, we align ourselves with higher frequencies and, consequently, more positive experiences and states of being. This principle teaches us that by cultivating higher vibrational thoughts and emotions, we can transcend our blockages. The hermetic perspective on consciousness and reality enhances our comprehension of navigating and overcoming obstacles. This philosophy teaches that we are not mere spectators in the universe but active co-creators of our reality. Our consciousness has the power to mold and shape the fabric of our personal and collective experiences. Recognizing this, we see that our mental and emotional blockages are not just personal trials but also opportunities for growth and transformation, both for ourselves and the collective consciousness. By applying these hermetic principles, we learn that overcoming blockages is not about battling external forces but about understanding and transforming our internal world. Our thoughts and emotions hold the key to not only unlocking our blockages but also to creating a reality that reflects our highest aspirations and desires. Through this philosophical lens, we are called to embark on a journey of self-discovery, to align with the vibrations that serve our highest good, and to recognize our profound power to shape our reality. This journey is not just about overcoming obstacles, it's about realizing our potential as conscious creators of our lives and our world. In our journey to dismantle the barriers that hold us back, diving into self-awareness practices is like turning on a flashlight in a dark room. Suddenly, you can see what's around you, and you're less likely to stumble. Mindfulness and meditation are the go-to tools here. They help us pause, breathe, and observe our thoughts and emotions without getting swept away by them. It's like watching clouds pass in the sky, acknowledging their presence but not attaching stories to them. Reflective questioning, where you ask yourself deep, 
probing questions like what am I feeling right now, or why does this situation trigger me, can unearth insights about our inner workings that we might not have noticed before. Now, let's talk about tweaking the software of our minds with some cognitive behavioral strategies. This approach is all about identifying those sneaky negative thought patterns that like to tell us we're not good enough or that everything's going to fall apart. Once we've spotted these patterns, we challenge them. It's like being a detective in your own mind, questioning the evidence behind your thoughts. Then, we work on changing these patterns, replacing them with thoughts that are more balanced and supportive. It's a bit like programming, but instead of computers, we're updating our brains. Emotional processing techniques are next on our toolkit. Sometimes, emotions get stuck in us like old, forgotten emails cluttering an inbox. Techniques like therapy provide a safe space to sort through these emotions. Emotional freedom techniques, EFT, or tapping, is another powerful method, where tapping on specific points on the body can help release emotional blockages. Then there's breathwork, which uses conscious breathing to move and release trapped emotions. It's pretty amazing how simply focusing on our breath can shift things that felt immovable. Lastly, let's not forget the role of lifestyle adjustments. It's tough to feel mentally and emotionally balanced if our bodies are out of whack. Regular exercise isn't just about staying fit, it's a natural antidepressant, helping to lift our mood and energy levels. Watching what we eat also plays a role. Foods that nourish our bodies tend to nourish our minds too. And let's talk about the power of social connections. Being part of a community, having people we can lean on, and who can lean on us, creates a support network that's invaluable for our well-being. Each of these practices and strategies offers a stepping stone on the path to overcoming our blockages. By integrating them into our lives, we're not just working on breaking down these barriers, we're building a stronger, more resilient, and more aware version of ourselves. Developing resilience, embracing lifelong learning, and fostering supportive relationships are the three keys to personal growth. They're the keys to not just overcoming but thriving beyond our blockages. Developing resilience involves strengthening our emotional resilience, not to become immune to pain, but to bounce back faster from setbacks. Having a mindset that values growth is extremely important in this situation. It's about seeing challenges not as insurmountable barriers but as opportunities to grow. This perspective shift can transform the way we approach life's hurdles. Fostering optimism is another resilience builder. It involves focusing on what can go right rather than dwelling on potential disasters. Practicing gratitude is like resilience fuel. By regularly acknowledging what we're thankful for, we shift our focus from what we lack to the abundance we already possess, strengthening our emotional resilience against future storms. The journey of personal development is like a breathtaking landscape that stretches endlessly before us. It is filled with the vibrant colors of growth and the harmonious sounds of self-discovery. The scent of possibility lingers in the air, invigorating our senses. With each step forward, we feel the exhilarating rush of progress and the profound beauty of never-ending growth. Emphasizing continuous learning and growth means staying curious, keeping an open mind, and being willing to step out of our comfort zones. It's about embracing life as a constant classroom where every experience, good or bad, has something to teach us. This approach keeps us flexible, adaptive, and ready to face whatever comes our way. Lifelong learning isn't just about accumulating knowledge, it's about refining our ability to navigate the complexities of life with grace and insight. Just as the saying goes, no man is an island, and this holds true when it comes to overcoming challenges and fostering personal growth. Community and support play pivotal roles in this process. Being part of a community provides a sense of belonging, a safety net of sorts, where we can share our struggles and triumphs. Supportive relationships act as mirrors, reflecting back our strengths and areas for growth, providing encouragement, perspective, and sometimes the tough love we need to move forward. These connections remind us we're not alone on this journey, making the load a little lighter and the path a bit brighter. Resilience, continuous learning, and a supportive community work together to create a strong framework for personal development. They equip us with the tools to face life's challenges head-on, learn from them, and emerge stronger and more connected to ourselves and others. Together, we have journeyed through a captivating landscape, delving into the obstacles that impede our personal growth and overall well-being. From the emotional, 
cognitive, and behavioral patterns that form these blockages to the roots that feed them, past trauma, societal conditioning, and self-limiting beliefs, we've delved deep into understanding the barriers to our happiness and fulfillment. Key to navigating this terrain is self-awareness, a beacon that lights our way through the inner workings of our minds and emotions. Neuroscience has handed us a map, revealing how our brain's wiring and functioning can reflect and reinforce these blockages, but also offering a key to unlock them, neuroplasticity. This incredible ability of our brains to rewire and adapt provides a foundation for overcoming the barriers we face. The ancient wisdom of hermetic chaos philosophy, with its principles of mentalism and vibration, has shown us that our reality is a reflection of our thoughts and the frequencies we embody. This knowledge empowers us to shift our internal state, to resonate with higher vibrations, and thereby transform our external reality. Building emotional resilience, fostering continuous learning and growth, and nurturing supportive communities are the tools and resources we've gathered along the way. They're the companions and guides that will support us as we continue on our journey. Now, as we stand on the threshold of what's next, I encourage you to embrace this journey with courage and openness. Overcoming blockages is more than a task to be completed, it's a path to unlocking your full potential. Remember, the strength for change lies within you. Your capacity for transformation is boundless. Every step taken in self-awareness, every insight gained from neuroscience, and every principle applied from hermetic chaos philosophy brings you closer to the person you were meant to be. Let this journey be one of discovery, not just of the barriers that hold you back, but of your power to move beyond them. Embrace the challenges, for they are the forge in which your greatest self is shaped and strengthened. The path ahead is yours to shape, guided by the wisdom you've gathered and the inner strength that has always been yours. Stand tall, for you are the architect of your reality, the master of your destiny. Let your journey be bold, let your heart be brave, and let your spirit be unbreakable. Onward, to a future unbounded by the past, rich with the promise of all you can become.